this is a vision measurement machine uh, model Opticom BMM 2D. It's basically a 2D non contact uh, vision based measurement machine. Here, uh, uh, this machine uh, has got a cross table of 500 by 300 uh, with a travel of uh, 300 mm on x axis and 200 mm on y axis. And uh, this is focusing axis is 200 mm. Now, for x axis, this we have a manual fine movement and this is rapid movement. And uh, y axis, uh, this is the fine movement and this is rapid movement. This is Z axis, this is focusing axis with a travel of 200 mm. Here we have a lens, this is a variable zoom lens where you can vary uh, magnification from 24x to 125x depending upon your requirement. Now if we come to the software part, this is a, a PC based software and here if you see this window this is a graphical window wherein uh, the component uh, whatever you measure here graphical image is generated which can be again exported to AutoCAD in a DXF format. These are the tools. In these two tools if you can see the first three rows. These three rows are elements, measurement elements like the basic like point, line, circle. These are the measurement uh, tools. These are construction tools where you can construct an intersection point, you can construct a line. These are construction tools. These are labeling tools. You can give the di dimension like radius, diameter, angle, these type of dimensions. And these are orientation tools where you can align the component as per the drawing. You can align it by x axis, you can align by y axis, you can shift the origin. The x y coordinates origin can be shifted. Okay, and these are this window is uh, image window where you can see the component. This is program window. Whatever you measure is stored here step by step, so it can be repeated manually as a program. And this is element stack. Whatever you measure here, the results are coming here. Uh, the dimensional results. This is a coordinate window the exact position, the present position of the coordinates of the machine is displayed here. This is again graphical window full view and this is digital zoom window which is used for taking points manually. Now when we come here, this basically does 2D geometrical uh, measurement like point, line, circle. These are the three basic uh, uh, 2D elements. When we place here, first we select the magnification, we keep the component, okay. once the component is kept, we do the focusing, okay. we do the focusing, once the focusing is done, okay, we need to check example, we need to check the diameter of the circle. This circle can be checked in various methods. One is manual method or automatic method like the window box circle. I select box circle. I just create a box and I do right click. I will get the diameter of the circle. Now the diameter is 1.4. The element uh, results are coming here. The elements are displayed here and this is the program created and this is the graph of that circle. Now I will move. I will select another circle, right click, the second circle diameter is displayed here, same thing, the third circle displayed here, now you think I need to check example, the angle, so to measure the angle you need minimum two lines, I will go to again a box circle, create a box, so within that box if you see, it is taking points. I right click line is generated here you can see the line is generated same thing I come here right click another line is generated now here example we need to check angle which we can check angle okay then 
we can check the diameter you can set the diameter then you want to check the distance you can go to distance distance now example you need to create an intersection point between these two lines i will select construct point i will select line 1 line 2 p1 point 1 is constructed now i need to align this line 2 align line 2 with reference to x axis so i will select x axis alignment i'll select i'll select one point i'll select two point i say okay now if you see the line two is aligned with reference to y axis and point one p1 the intersection point if you see p1 p1 the intersection point is become my origin so this is my origin now if i need to shift the origin from p1 to c1 i can select here you see select translate coordinates i'll select translate coordinate and select this circle okay now you see c1 c1 coordinates now i'll just come that becomes my origin see c1 is my origin so this is basically meant for alignment of component you can also define an angle and align it example if i need to rotate it by 45 degrees i can rotate it i say okay see now the component component is rotated by 45 degrees so this type of alignments can be done and you want to put in tolerance you can double click here you can put 1.4 point 1 the tolerance so this tolerance is di displayed and it shows the results the uh, thing and to take a report you can double click on the element whatever element you need only that you can double click select it it is highlighted here only those things will come in the report say excel okay now it comes in the excel report okay now now whatever we have measured this component is automatically stored or a, a program is created this is called teach and play now you need to if you need to repeat the same component you have to just say play though it's a manual machine it can do i say okay i say okay now it is asking me to move i have to just move so it is doing the measurement on its own i, I just have to move as per the window so all the measurements is getting measured automatically as per my now i have got the results thank you